Hello Georgie B back again. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using new um, Ingolas, a new stamp set. I know you might have seen the stamp set before but it's just coming out in the spring and summer catalog, uh, annual catalog, the new 21-22 annual catalog. Um, and I managed to get hold of it. So the stamp set is Butterfly Brilliance and it is one massive stamp which is here. You could cut it up but then it's dying. When you die cut it, the die is one great big die. I haven't put it in my box yet. Well, it won't be going in my box, it'll have to go in a wallet because there's too many of them. So, there is the big stamp uh, die, and then you get all these little fancy dies, butterflies. So, I'll be using, well, I won't be cutting it out. I'll show you how I stamp it and place the die and I'll also be using this die because I actually have got the butterflies cut and for the sentiment I'm going to be using another new die elegantly said and I'm going to be using that one wishing you a wonderful birthday Makes a change from happy birthday. So I'm going to be using that. They've got happy anniversary. All the things you do are simply amazing. Life has changed for you, but my love and support never will. True love stories last forever. For you, and thank you. And some pretty stamps as well. So they're two new stamps to me with the dies. Right, I'm going to be doing this in a different colour. I'm going to be doing it in a new colour called Fresh Freesia. So I've got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eight and folded in half. I also have a white piece of card at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. A piece of the new in colour DSP at three and a half by five and th no three and three quarters by five and a half. I chose that one because I like that one. There's also that and there's another two um, designs all in the same colour. And I have a piece of white at five inch, uh, three and seven eighths by one inch to go across the bottom there. I think it's a lovely colour. I do like that colour. And this one is called So Succulent, this colour. Nice. Right, you also need a scrap of white for the wall. Of wall, the bricks, which I haven't got out, which I will get out. Get that big bit out. And I'll show you what I do with that afterwards. Right, place that to one side, grab a big bit of basic white, and your butterfly dye. And I'm just going to stamp this in Memento Black. Sorry about the banging, but something's rattling. I don't know what. Right, I think that's it. I'm um, going place it down and press hard. It's 
It's not on block. And then we have all our butterflies. Cover the whole stamp up with um, my cloth to clean it. Right. Now that, you can start colouring here or and then cut it out or cut it out and then colour it. So what we're gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna colour that butterfly and that butterfly, and then I will cut them out later and place them in one of these. I've got a few of these boxes, as you know. I keep my dimensionals in one, my scraps in one, and oh, no. also my um, butterflies and many messages. That was an idea from a young lady and one of my subs. She said, why don't we use an empty stamp box? I know these aren't stamp boxes. My sister gave me these. These are from a shop. Vanguard or something like that. Don't know what they were for. Another idea for keeping in your spare butterflies. So if I ever say I'm going to grab a butterfly, you know where I've grabbed them from. Yeah, so that is then place this big die. Like that. And cut them out. But I'm not going to cut them out yet. Only because I don't have the strength to bring up my big shot. My back has been killing me lately. I think it was all the house cleaning I did. Not house cleaning, because I always clean the house. Um, spring cleaning. Right, colour these bir birds in, butterflies in. I use the red yellows. So I've got light so soft front saffron which I did wasn't too particular I just went round got a cough sorry Like that. Put that away. Then I did dark so saffron. Just a line of that. This is light daffodil delight. Delight. And I finished off with dark Melamambo. And all I did was 
right down the side of the body. Like that. And then I did the light, that was dark. Light pineapple punch. I can't find it. What have I done with light pineapple punch? Oh no, it was dark pineapple punch. Stupid woman. And I went over the whole thing again, blending in all the colours. Then I got, I'll just put them out of the way, my light soft suede, which will pick up light and not dark, and did a very thin line just down the side of the body. Coloured the body in. Not that it matters about the body because we're going to cover the body with pearls. And then I also went round the edge here and did a line of soft suede. And then where there's markings like this, I just coloured them in, in soft suede, like that. And that's all I did with my butterflies. And then I colour, coloured them in, which I haven't done on these ones. So I'll cut that out now, but I won't. I got my Winker Stella. Right, I just refilled this, so I've got to be very careful. And coloured in the butterflies. Um, nice glittery butterflies. I've just added alcohol to my pen, and of course, it's making it very glittery, but also very runny. Let them dry. While they're drying, we'll do our brick wall. So what we've done for this brick wall, rather than cut a piece of card, I'm being frugal here, 
because I've cut the card in half, I am, I have got two card bases. Now to cut a piece for this means I'd have to ruin the card base. So what I've done, I've got my ink and I've got a purple brush uh, I'm just going to ink up a piece of card big enough to do two. I do want two this time. Last time I did one and when I stuck the butterfly over the top of it you could hardly see it so I just want to add a few more bits. So that will do this time. Clean my brush. Away. Get rid of this. Bring in my sidekick. I'm going to cut out two of these bricks. another one. Most probably won't use them all. I only want a couple of extra ones. that done. I'll sort that out when I put them in the wallet. Right. Oh, we've got the sentiment to stamp. Right. I think this is the right way. Ink it up and we're going to stamp it to the right of the card there you are wishing you a wonderful birthday now with our tweezers we're going to glue we're going to make a wall so Glue each piece and I want that one. Or will a big one go on? No. Let's use the half a brick.
doesn't take long to do this. It's just this. Just a bit fiddly. And then another row at the bottom. Right, I'm going to ruin the stack a bit and add a half of one. And then put on another one. too long. So I'm going to cut a bit off. There we are. And then our small butterfly. Right, what I did, I loosened the antennas. All I did was snip down underneath them. just so that we could fold the wings up and then that will sit on there like that and you could see the brick wall now so let's glue this on our card paper going to glue our DSP on our white card and then our white card on our base. I didn't do anything inside apart from add a card base which I will do now with this um, a mini um, dimensional or two. So there's the base. I want to put two dimensionals on each wing to keep them up. And then I glue the body and the antennas and we're going to stick that down
take the backings off the dimensionals. I can't remember what they were called then. And we do the same with the large butterfly. Release the antenna because there's two of them. And fold it up at the body. And we're going to add couple of dimensionals to these wings as well. Oh no! What I want to do with these is actually bend them over a little bit. So when they sit, they sit like that. And the dimensionals Stop them from going flat. And again, glue the body and the antennas and place that in the middle of the card. Making sure the body is glued down so it doesn't lift up and then press the wings down like that. Then you want to get some gems. In this case I actually put pearls on it and I put these mini pearls. So to a line of glue and put a load of pearls down. Could have coloured these in purple, but I haven't got <coughs> the um, blender pens in this colour yet, as they weren't available on pre-order. Right, there's the gems on that butterfly. Let's add three to this one. There we are. And that is our card complete. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.